a very warm welcome to everyone i am aditya rai student of university of lucknow pursuing my btech in civil engineering i am going to present my seminar on the topic light emitting concrete this whole seminar was under the guidance of engineer jitendra pratap singh from the stone age when people were living in houses made up of stones and rocks to the 21st century where we have skyscrapers buildings bridges etc all these are possible due to the invention of concrete concrete is the foundation of our civilization today we will discuss not just ordinary concrete but a very special type of concrete called light emitting concrete as we proceed further in this discussion we will see the basic constituent of light emitting concrete its manufacturing process its methodology some advantages disadvantages and some few applications in worldwide as well by the end of this seminar you should have a better understanding of light emitting concrete and its endless application and its future scope let us meet the scientist behind it his name is jose carlos rubio he is from mexico he claimed that these type of concrete can last as long as 100 years without requirement of any maintenance at all this is solar powered concrete it was first patented in 2016 so let us see what exactly light emitting concrete is as you can see in the demonstration video this type of concrete does not require any electricity to run light emitting concrete is a type of concrete that has been infused with materials that allow it to emit light this can be achieved through the use of photoluminescent pigments which are capable of storing energy from the sunlight and then releasing it as visible light in the dark light emitting concrete can be used in a variety of applications including as form of emergency light or as a way to add decorative lighting to building and structures it has the potential to be a highly energy efficient and sustainable lighting solution it is a very environment friendly solution as it does not require any electricity to run let us see the constituent of light emitting concrete so in the basic cement slurry made up of sand gravel cement and water we add some few admixtures like metallic powder made up of titanium and sulfide powder and a binding material like resins for example epoxy resins etc all these constituents are fixed in a mold and left for dry for a day or two after drying these are these concrete are capable of emitting different light colors as we can see these concrete can emit green blue yellow and red light colors in order to produce light emitting concrete that emit green light after the removing ambient light the titanium and calcium sulfide powder were mixed with epoxy resins polyester resins or other resins similarly in order to produce light emitting concrete that emits blue light we have to add strontium sulfide powder with epoxy resins etc similarly we can produce yellow and red light as well so let us see how a light emitting concrete works in the daytime when solar light is available the pigment in the concrete absorbs solar light to make the electrons increases its energy state electron gets excited and jumps to the next energy state and at the night time when all the electron all the ambient light sources were removed these concretes uh, these electrons in these concretes can lose energy and it goes to the lower energy state and emits photon of different colors so uh, let us see the advantages of a light emitting concrete as uh, as we have discussed earlier this concrete does not require any type of electricity to run so the serviceability cost of these concretes are negligible it is a very eco friendly process of manufacturing of the concrete as the only gas release is carbon dioxide during its manufacture it it has a life span of about 100 years and it can continuously produce 12 hours of power supply its brightness is adjustable by 
and by uh, changing few elements in the construction process as it is very useful in forest and remote areas where we don't have direct electricity running on we can use these type of payments in uh, forest areas where it can run on 100 years without any further further investments now let us see its disadvantages as everything has some advantage and disadvantage so as lighting in concrete since cement is an opaque body it does not allow light to pass through it this was the major problem faced by the jose carlos since it cannot allow light to pass through it so the light emitting pigments cannot emit light from the concrete so the light emitting concrete has to be made thinner than ordinary concrete and in this process we lose its strength so this concrete can only be used as a coating material we coat this type of concrete on the ordinary concrete by doing this we achieve the strength of ordinary concrete and the properties of light emitting concrete it has a very high manufacturing cost as a, this type of concrete is in manufacturing and research state its cost is very high and it is not very economical although it is very economical after the installation but the initial cost of this type of concrete is very costly so after a further research and development we may have uh, reduced this type of concrete cost so it can be used for public and various places now let us see its a uh, few case studies worldwide in litzbar warmenski in poland this is a cycle lane of width about 328 meters it was finished on 28th september 2016 the whole cost of manufacturing was over a million dollars so this uh, this is the cycle payment made up of light emitting concrete now let us see the second case study this is a tp institute baden a zoo in poland this is a luminous spike strip that needs only one time charging by the sun for getting illuminated throughout the night to conclude this seminar we can say light emitting concrete is a material of endless possibilities it is a self illuminating concrete or a glowing concrete that can emit its own light this can be achieved by using of photoluminescent pigments which absorb and store energy from natural or artificial light and then releases it as a visible light in the dark light emitting concrete has a number of potential applications including use in sidewalks roadways and building etc it can be used as emergency and evacuation situations as well it is a relatively a new technology and further research and development is needed to optimize its performance and reduce cost light emitting concrete has a potential to alter our standard construction procedure this type of concrete is very futuristic and maybe in upcoming decade we have cities which are made up of these concretes only where the night nights are starry on the ground as well further research and development is needed in this in these areas to reduce its cost and make it make it more economical and available it for public uses here are the differences for this seminar topic as we can see we have eight references so i am ending my seminar with a beautiful quote by franklin roosevelt the only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today so thank you all for listening to me and coming to me this journey till here thank you